Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to can green beans. So, as you can see, most of them I've already cut up. But I have some here. All you have to do is cut off the end that had the stem. Don't worry about cutting off the other pointy end. That's some good green bean down there. And it goes really quick. This is the harvest I got today. Pretty good harvest, huh? So we just cut them up into bite-sized pieces. And today we're going to do hot pack. Now let me get these finished and we'll move to the stove. Really simple. And there we go. Ready to move on to the stove. In boiling water, throw in your green beans and set your timer for five minutes. And once that five minutes is up, we're going to put them in the jars. This is the hot pack method. And then we'll uh, process them real quick like. Okay, it's getting ready to go off. So we have our colander here in a big bowl with a ladle to scoop the hot water out. We have our tattler lid rings in hot water. Not boiling, but hot water. We have our salt here, and we're going to use a quarter of a teaspoon. Funnel and our magnetic wand, which we can't use because they're tattler lids, but this is great to get the bubbles out of your jars. So let's throw the jars up here. They're sterilized and hot. And I did eight quarts, eight pints. I don't think I'm going to have enough for eight pints, but... You should always have more jars ready than what you need. And there goes the timer. So you want to try to get good at timing it so that you always have nice hot product, nice hot jars to deal with. So here come the green beans. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get them in our jars. Hmm, let me think of the best tool for that. Well, let's try a spoon. Put your funnel on. Spoon them out. Ooh, there goes my ladle. Hot. Let me do this to the side. And we'll push that out of the way. We're going to need that water. Probably could put a towel under that. Probably be better. But... Now, if you can't move fast, do one jar at a time. And I do have two different types of beans in here. So, I have some of my uh, turtle beans. I picked young. And then we can them up. So I'm going to stop there and just do these three to show you. So I can get off camera. And get this process moving. A little more in that one. And then I'll put these back in that boiling water just to get them hot again. Alright, so now take our ladle. You're going to fill it to one inch to the rim. And see all those nutrients we cooked our green beans in is going right back into the jars. That's why I like the hot bag. Alright, 
Take your paper towel. Wipe your rims. We are using tattler lids. So, take your tattler. Lay it on. It's the easiest way I've found. Set it down. And tighten it up. And just do that for... Oh, hot. All three. I think I did them all. And then you're going to set them into your canner that you've got heated up with hot water, not boiling, but really hot. And you're just going to set it in it. There we go. To keep everything hot until we have them all done. Because if you go and stick these jars in cold water, they are going to break. And I'll get back to you when I get them all done. So once you get the water in, you want to take your little tool and pop it around the sides to break up any air bubbles and add more fluid if you need to. I think we can add a little more to this one. All right, once that's done, you want to take your little towel and wipe the rims, just the top. You don't need to wipe the sides or the inside, just that real flat spot on the top. Then take your gasket or your lid, and if you have a regular lid, I'm using Tattler's, set it on there, tighten it down. and. For most of you, what you think is finger tight, unless you're really strong, give it a little tighter crank. Alright? Because most people don't put them tight enough. If you're having a lot of seepage into your canner, it's because you're not getting your lids tight enough. So just put them a little tighter. Now with tattlers, remember when they come out of the canner, we have to retighten them. Okay, so we finished... And I have six jars of green beans. I think that's pretty good for a day's harvest. So I've got two inches of water in the pot. And it is hot. And I've got it sitting on the trivet. I'm going to put my lid on. Matching arrows. Tighten her up. Bring it up to a boil. Once the steam starts coming out steady, I'm going to time it for 10 minutes. And then we'll put our weight on. Oh, and if you noticed, I didn't put salt in it. It was requested that I don't put salt in these. So there won't be a teaspoon of salt. But you can put up to a half a teaspoon in a pint of salt if you so choose. I don't know if you can see that, but it is venting, and it's pretty much a steady stream, so I've set my timer to 10 minutes. Alright, once your 20 minutes is done, at the pound of pressure for your altitude, 1,000 feet or below is 10 pounds. I believe uh, over 1,000 to 2,000 is 11 pounds. But there's a chart on uh, in your ball book or on their website, and I'm using the Complete Home Complete book of home preserving. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I was out harvesting dill seed. So, give you an example. I've just been pounding this for a couple seconds. And that's all my seed for just a couple seconds. Well, that's the handful I just grabbed out. Lots of dill seed. So, once your timer goes off, just turn off your heat. Let it sit there. It takes about half hour in the Presto to come down to temperature. If you move this and you hear any hissing, then it's not cool enough. Give it five more minutes. Ball says then take the lid off, pointing it away from you, and let them stand in the pressure canner for five minutes. If you've got your air conditioner on, it's probably a good idea. 
So I'm going to turn this off in one minute and get back to you when I'm ready to open it. Alright, once it's come down to pressure, you want to see if there's any noise. There isn't. When you open it, open it away from you so you don't get burned. Take your jar lifter by the handles, lift your jars, and put them on the towel. You want to put them somewhere where they won't be disturbed for 24 hours? Now remember, these are the tattler lids. So, whereas if you're using the ball lids, you would leave them alone and let them sit for 24 hours. Because these are tattler lids, we have to tighten them. So, make sure you protect your hands and tighten them. Ooh, hot. This is the only one I'm concerned with. It appears to have a bubble. So we'll see what happens with it. I'm sure it'll suck down as it cools. Let them sit for 24 hours. If the seals aren't holding with the rim jar lids off, then reprocess or eat. Blessings.